Huh. Okay, I'm going to introduce myself to you. I'll take over since you're clearly confused. I okay, am. I'm Chelsea Handler. Hi, Chelsea. And you are Pedro, Pedro Pascal. Pa okay, yeah, you say it. Say it again louder. Pedro Pascal. Okay, and now you are a cocaine cowboy on the hunt for Pablo Escobar yeah. in your series, right? You're you're hunting him down. Yeah, correct. You filmed in Colombia, right? We shot the whole thing in Colombia. And how's that going on? What's going on down there? It's pretty amazing. We The base of production is in Bogota, and then we move around to different locations throughout the country. It's not totally easy to be away from home and, 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 and shooting in these locations, but it's probably like the most important thing for the show to capture the era, and the only way to do it is to actually be there. And visually, that's the experience, you know? When I, you know, I saw a little bit of the series, and, and, and it looks like it's Columbia in the 80s. So you play what, like a police officer? I'm a DEA scene? agent. And you're after, because that was, he was a hard guy to find, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is kind of hard to imagine, right? Because he was so huge and like really fat. <laughs> well, also the interest, yeah, it's not like he could run fast. And so are you, so this is a series though, it's not a movie. It's a series. It's a ten episode series. Ten episode series, and yeah. the whole time you're looking for this guy. And there, is this your your character based on a true guy? It is a real guy. It's, it's not a real DEA. No, he's a real DEA agent. So, I met him. He just retired in oh, like really? January 2014. I'm surprised he didn't get killed by Pablo Escobar. I know. It's two guys, Steve Murphy and Javier Pena, real living guys, mm -hmm. and that headed the investigation for the DEA down there. How do you like working for Netflix? It's terrible. It's embarrassing. <laughs> it's, yeah, so it's an embarrassing, embarrassing place to work. It is. It's, it's, sort it's of like when people say, like, what, you know, what you network is it on? It's like, oh God, I don't even want to say it. Excuse me? <laughs> Netflix. Netflix. It's really embarrassing um, because I watch so much of it. What are you watching? I fucking watch all of it. What's you? I, know I saw Bloodline. Like I saw Kimmy Schmidt. Bloodline is like I was like watching uh, your, your stand-up. You've got to be kidding me. I've seen I've seen House of Cards, I'm caught up on Orange is the New Black, all of it. I'm a complete Netflix slave. Can I introduce you? I have to say hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, Internet. I would like to introduce you to Chelsea Handler, Netflix's jack of all trades. I'm doing four documentaries. You're doing four documentaries? Yeah, I'm almost done with them. Well, you've been, so you've been shooting, does that have anything to do with the amount of traveling you were telling me about before we started? Yeah, I've been traveling this? all, I've been bopping around. I mean, I like to just kind of incorporate work with travel because I really can't sit still for very long, so I like to kind of explore yeah. at all times. So I've been doing, I did one, Chelsea Does Marriage was my first one, which is all about my personal feelings about marriage and exploring with my family. It was very personal. It was like talking to my ex-boyfriends, talking to people who've been married for like 65 years, talking to people who were in... Like, 65 days. Yeah, 65 days, exactly. <laughs> for people who are in like a throuple relationship, like two women and a man that like mm -hmm. operate as a couple. Mm -hmm. It's called a throuple. That's a thing now. I had no idea. Um, we did that. Chelsea Does Racism, which is fascinating. <laughs> Chelsea Does... Can't wait. Uh, Silicon Valley, because I just don't understand anything about the tech world or how they operate. And then Chelsea does drugs is the last one. So I'm finishing. Come to our it. show. That's why I'm coming. Maybe to that's Columbia. why they put us together. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm doing ayahuasca in Peru. That's oh. the last thing I have left to shoot. I have like two more shoot days. Have left. you ever done it before? No, of course not. I was waiting to do. I'm going to do it on camera. You're going to do it on camera? Yeah, that's what the point of this whole series is: is to show people everything I've done. I've done on camera, medically supervised, like taken Adderall, showed what's what what happens to your brain, do like mental acuity, physical tests, taking an Ambien with lots of vodka to see in my own house. Like, I mean, it's not a pretty To see everything that you're going to do and have like no memory of Just whatsoever. to show people what, how they behave when they're not acting you responsibly. You end up like writing emails and like calling people. Or and making a pot about. of spaghetti and then going for a drive <laughs> in your car and not remembering anything. Yeah. How did you convince Netflix to let you do it? And I remember pitching the drug one to, you know, Netflix, Ted and Lisa and Cindy, and I was like, I think I should just do drugs and have everybody see what happens, how you act on weed and alcohol and pills and all the things that people abuse, you know, nothing really like illegal or narcotic because you can't really film that kind of stuff and get away with it. Right. And then, you, or, and there are certain places where you can film. And so ayahuasca obviously is legal in Peru. So uh, they so were like, I it, remember though. Ted was like, yeah. And that seems to be Netflix's M.O. Do you like the people that you work with? Yes, very much. Or would much. you like to see some of they them? They aren't that funny. Set? I'm the funny one. Are you? Maybe, possibly. You think you make a lot of people laugh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or cry. But what's the difference? Nothing. They're very similar. It's <laughs> a very fine line. So then what are you 
Don't worry about me. Every I'm a very loud personality. It's more important that we interviewed you. Everybody knows no, what's no, going on. No, no, this is so much. Fun. I got to kind of interview you. Yeah, a you did bit. a little bit, but little I controlled bit, the which interview. Which is uh, you controlled the interview because I know I, what I'm doing. But you do know what you're doing. Thank you. I do not. It was really fun. It was a pleasure to meet you. I like you. It was like a pleasure you. to meet you too. I like you too. Yeah, great. We're gonna go. Can we get a bag of blow? <laughs> <laughs>